Alright, Shalom, first and foremost. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakaq Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. You know that rule well. You know, and blessings to the hopeful elect teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. Signs of the times. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> this is going to be another little um, GMS in transit, if you will. It's your brother Carl Bayer from the GMS London camp coming back at you with another edition of GMS in transit. And, um, you know, pretty much, you know, just wanted to speak about the signs of the time. Like, this could you speak about, you know, we are to measure the time diligently, you know, in itself. And when I shall see as part of the signs pass, you know, then shall that well understand that the Most High spake of these things which were from the beginning. Like it says in 2nd Ezra uh, 9, from the top, all right? And it goes on to say, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. So, you know, you got it to where, for the most part, you're seeing that all over the place, all right? You know, when I was growing up, you know, you didn't you didn't use to experience, you know, these much tremors or magnitude 4.0 over here or magnitude 5 over here and all these different levels of uh, magnitude that's been popping off all over the world, man. All right, heathens getting jacked up. Floods, all these things are happening. The signs in the heavens, the chariots covering the skies. All right, um, the rings of fire, the, the super blood moons, all these, these signs that are happening in these last days. Why do you think they're here? They serve as an indicator to measure the time diligently. So we have to know, like, what time we're in. Like, you know, the scriptures speak about see then that you walk circumspectly, right? As wise and not as fools, redeeming the time because the days are evil. So we have to see these signs that are popping off. And we have to think, hold on a minute, what's going on? Why, you know, filter what's happening through the scriptures, all right? And the Lord is giving these, these signs in the heavens, you know, as indicators to know what time we're exactly in, all right? Now, right now, like you got these uh, protests of the people, like I mentioned before, like you got division among Esau's kingdom. You got one people standing up against another people, man. They got placards, you know, uh, uh, holding protests, going out there, enraged individuals, grouping up, going to, you know, you know, concerts because they ain't got the stabbing jab. People inside these concerts out there shaking their ass. You know, but the people outside, because they ain't got the stabbing jab, they can't go into the concert. So Esau is pitting one people against another, which I did a response to the video from Elder Yusha one, but yesterday called Division, man. All right, and he was pretty much going into that. You had the Foo Fighters concert over there, and pretty much the guys that had the stabbing jab, they could go. There was about 600 people that can go into the concert, and the those that didn't have the stabbing jab, they couldn't. They couldn't enter. So what's that telling you? That Esau is 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 you know he's using that formula again. That auto have KO, man. All right, he's using, he's pitting one group of people against another group of people, and he wants them to go head to head. All right, so pretty much, you know, you, you got a lot of hate, you got a lot of civil unrest that's that's brewing right now. And you know, there's one scripture that I forgot to mention when I did that response to that video was that you know Yahweh Shai said he's coming to set fire upon the earth. All right, and that's what people ain't really ready for, man. All right, it says, and what if what will I if it be already kindled? So. All we're seeing now is the fire is slowly rising, man. All we're seeing now, what well, the scriptures liken it onto labor pains, like a woman in travail, you know, and you know, the, what, we're, what we're witnessing now is these contraction pains, man. Like a woman that's about to give birth, all right? So all these uproars of the people, earthquakes, pestilences in diverse places, all these things that are happening on the earth today, we can speak on and we can measure, right? And we can measure it according to the scriptures as to what's going on and why it's actually going down. All right, because right now we're living in a transferal of power, man, a, 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 a transferal of rulership. Because Esau, right, predominantly the so-called white man is ruling right now. Okay, and I'm, the reason why I say predominantly because you got some of our people that are mingled among the heathen nations that look like the heathens, man. Right, you got uh, Israelites that look like straight up white people. All right, look like Esau himself. But at the end of the day, it's all about the seed, man. It's all about the chosen line going back to our forefather Jacob. All right, so Yahweh Shai, we're in a time where Yahweh Shai is about to come back and gather his elect that believe on him, right? In the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the Lord is going to do exactly that, man. So on one hand, you're going to have a group of people getting good news and another group of people that's going to be getting bad news, man. All right, and bad news is going to come for a lot of the people that you see out here that want to bury their head in the sand, that want to trim their ways and seek love from their oppressors. Right? Bad news is coming for those individuals, those Israelites that would not, would, you know, they reject the knowledge of the Most High. And you know the scripture says in Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So because you have a lack of knowledge, you're going to be destroyed for that. Right? Our job 
is to be the watchman and to, to wash your blood off of our hands by blowing the trumpet. Like it says in Joel, the second chapter, man. Our job is to blow the trumpet and let our people know what time it is, man. Speaking about the lamentations, mournings, and woes of the scriptures. Letting our people know what time it is. All right? We ain't out here to try and, you know, gloss things over, you know, and, and, and you know, push things under the rug. Like, we ain't prisoners of war out here. Like, we ain't suffering on a daily. Like, the, uh, the earth has not been given into the hand of the wicked. No, it has. All right? And Esau is the wicked. You can read that in Malachi 1 and 4. All right? Esau, Edom is known as the borders of wickedness. And that's the same people who the Lord has an indignation for forever against, man. All right? That's the same people who, what did, what did King David say? I hate, um... I hate them with a perfect hatred, man. All right? And King David is a man after the most high's heart. All right? So it ain't going off to, to hate the wicked, man. Right? Being that we are the righteous, we're supposed to hate the wicked. Don't the scriptures say that good is set against evil? Don't the scriptures say uh, um, an unjust man is a... Uh, a um, he that is unjust is an abomination to the just? And vice versa? Don't the scriptures say that? So, yeah, hey, the Lord made things two and two, man. Good being set against evil. <clears throat> All right, and us being the righteous, our duty is to curse out the wicked, man. Right, our duty is to hasten the day wherein righteousness is flourishing throughout the earth, wherein we're finally going to be able to be at rest, right, under the hard, hard, hard bondage where we're being made to serve, man. All right, because we're still prisoners of war, and the Lord said in the land of our captivity that we were going to remember ourselves and call upon His name. Like the scripture says, and the elect shall praise his holy name. So we're remembering the name of the Lord, man. We're connecting back to our power source because we discontinued from our heritage, man. But now it's time to wake up. Now it's time to uh, arise and wake up out of sleep. But Jake, you know, you know, the Lord has got certain Israelites out there that he's put a spirit of deep sleep upon, man. Because the Lord don't want to wake them up. The Lord wants to destroy them, man. So therefore, guess what? They're going to be slumbering. And just like a thief in the night, the day of the Lord is going to catch them off guard, man. All right, because they ain't watching, man. They ain't watching to see, because they haven't been given the gift of faith to be able to watch in the first place. And that's why we can't squander this gift that we've been given, man. We have to always earnestly contend for the faith, all right? And don't go on like Satan ain't out here trying to sift you as wheat, like, he, like Yahweh Shai told Peter. So, Satan, Satan has desired to sift you as wheat, but I have prayed for thee that thy faith fell not. Don't go on like there ain't spiritual wickedness in high places that just because you can't see them don't mean they ain't there. You know, brothers be going through all kinds of mental battles, physical battles, all kinds of stuff, man. You know, ailments, bodily ailments. Look at what Job went through, man. Once Satan set up to test Job's faith, okay, but guess what? What was Job's mentality? Though he slay me, yet love will I maintain my trust in him, man. All right, so this is about enduring until the end, man. The Lord is about to put us through the hour of temptation, but guess what? There's no temptation such as coming to man. Hey, the Lord won't put anything upon us that we ain't going to be able to bear in these last days so we always have to remember that as well man right like you got the uh, biden administration talking about you know setting up family members to snitch on on radicalized family members now right and and that's all coming to part that's prophecy in itself okay father shall de deliver up the son to death br uh, uh, brother against brother and so on and so forth the lord said he came to bring division the lord said he came to bring division man Okay, so this ain't about everyone walking hand in hand, skipping through the tulips, you know, like, you know, a happily ever after. This ain't about that. This is about the elect being sealed that they may be saved and, and in the time of salvation when Yahweh Shai comes with his mighty angels, man. That's what this is about. This is about the little sanctuary, right, being, uh, 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 you receiving this word, this engrafted word with meekness, which is able to save their souls. Right, and it takes meekness to be able to receive this word, man. It takes meekness to be to be told that you were going off your whole life, to be to being woken up to the fact that you need to repent to a higher power, man. It's you gotta be meek, you know. Your character has to be tested, man. All right, all of our characters are being tested on a daily, okay. When brothers are doing videos, apostles, elders doing videos, things that cut us on a daily, even now, just because you're in the truth, don't mean you ain't gonna get cut. No, you're always gonna be cut with these scriptures, man. All right, and that serves to, to uh, you know, that, that that being cut by the scriptures, man, it serves to purify us, man. All right, it, it, don't the scriptures speak about uh, the trial of our faith being much more per uh, precious than gold that per perish, man. Don't be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor at the glory and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai. So when Yahweh Shai comes back, hey, the scripture says, blessed is he in whom the Most High imputeth not iniquity, man. 
All right, so this is about fighting, you know, uh, uh, and striving for, perfe for perfection. This is about re rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord. This is about striving for the truth unto death that the Lord may fight for us. And in the end, the Lord said, then shall they know, you know, who are my chosen, man? All right, so this is about going all out. This is about enduring until the end. And there's going to be reward for us for stand that stand stiffly until the end, man. Hey, there's... Wait, hey, for the elect, there's going to be a crown of righteousness laid up for them. Righteousness laid up for them in the kingdom, man. That's why the scripture says, let no man take thy crown. All these people out here, all these demons that don't believe, guess what, man? They're living in that pride of life vibration, okay? They're so proud, they think that this place is going to continue on. They think that pride marches are going to be an ongoing thing in, 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 the, in, the, in the coming uh, uh, years, man. Well, guess what? The Lord is coming back to shut down all of this, man. To put down all rule and authority He's coming back to In righteousness He's going to judge And make war People ain't ready for that That's why the scripture says Woe unto you that desire The day of the Lord So what end is it for you The day of the Lord is darkness And not light Even very dark And no brightness in it These people ain't ready For what's about to come man They ain't ready to see Them deaf angels Get introduced to them In a hostile manner Okay They ain't ready to see Yahweh Shai The conquering lion Of the tribe of Judah Tear shit up down here They ain't ready for that Because what they're waiting for Is so called Blonde hair Blue white Jesus To come down here man That's what they're waiting for But they don't understand That the Lord is an angry So called black man man And he's about to Shut the fuck Shit down bro Alright And that's what we hate said. Hey, we, Even when they show you These movies man They show you like General Zod and they show you like how he came up against Superman and that and whatever Because Superman, he was really the coon General Zod was really the good guy Alright, because General Zod was about his people And that's why when he came down to Earth He weren't playing no, ga no games He said send in the world engine man Alright, let's take over this Earth Let's do, let's turn it into Krypton man Let's, uh, 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 you know, be about our seed Let's be about our lineage Let's be about our people man all right, and that's the hey, that's the right spirit to be in, man. So General Zod, he was the good guy. Hey, the same thing with Aquaman. You end up having Aquaman was the coon, and his brother he was cursing Aquaman out, talking about how why do you want to save the humans? Look at how they're destroying the ocean. Look how they're destroying the earth. All right, and this is what I'm saying, man. Hey, the scriptures speak about all the foundations of the earth being out of course. Why? Because the, the wicked is in rulership, and we can't wait for this devil to be put out of power, man. The scriptures speak about thus with violence shut up great city Babylon be thrown down. All right. The scriptures speak about destroying them which destroy the earth. And those that destroy the earth are about to be destroyed. You best believe, you see? That's a spirit. Look at that. Someone's got a rainbow umbrella, you know? Because it's Pride Month, man. All right. So people are out here celebrating pride. Hey, and you know, Lot was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, man. Okay. And there's a black woman at that as well. That's a so called black woman with a rainbow umble umbrella. You know, in the name of pride Okay, which Esau, he's done perverted the rainbow The colours of the rainbow, man That's what he's got and done He's perverted the colours of the rainbow, bro Alright, was, was the rainbow well, That was a bow in a cloud That was the Lord establishing his coven covenant With Noah saying he wasn't going to flood the earth By way of water anymore Alright, but there's going to come, come a and America's about to be turned into a lake of fire, man Alright, look at this Oh, that's a spirit You see the fire engine to the left? Oh, that's it. Hey, Carla, y'all must be on site. And he's in the wrong lane. Hey, the Lord made sure that I didn't miss that because he was in the complete wrong lane. I said, the fuck's, the fuck's this guy driving in the wrong lane? But he had, hey, the fire engine went past. As I mentioned, the lake of fire. Carla, y'all must be on site. That's the time that we're in, man. That's the spirit we got to be in, man. Hasten the day. Hey, this could just speak about the elements melting with a fervent heat, man. The elements are going to melt with fervent heat. America's about to be liquidated, man. All praises to Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All praises to Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai. Kala Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai, Bar Hashem Rachak with Dash, man. Right? Because we're vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. We want to see this place destroyed, man. The Lord is going to shake the earth, okay? The Lord is going to shake. Hey, the scripture speak about was thou angry against the trees? Was thou angry against the rivers? That's how angry the Lord's going to be when he opens up on this place. And all these signs that we're seeing in these end days are indicators to tell us the times that we're in, man. Hey, it's, hey we're in a very exciting time. Don't be down in the dumps. Hey, the scripture says now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. We've got to be turned up. Now's the time to be turned up. Now's the time to be turned up, man. Alright, the Lord is coming with that fire Isaiah 66 and 15 
and with his chariots like a whirlwind, man. That's the time we're in, man. Righteousness is about to spring throughout the earth. All right, and we, hey, we long for that. And if you don't long for that, then you're a fucking demon, man. Anyway, with that, I pray you were edified to the next time I say Shalom.